Well, today we are going to show you the new grill we got. I am super excited to share this with you guys. I know we posted some pictures on Facebook and Instagram, and a lot of people were interested in it, wanted to see about it. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I keep mine stored back here in this toolbox. Super easy to get to. So we got a 50 foot extension cord that we are going to use to plug up into the sleeper because this does require a little bit of electricity. It doesn't use a lot. I don't know if you can run it straight off the inverter and your batteries. We will be running our generator just to make sure it does have the power that it needs. We got these old rugs that we put over it just to protect it for right now. We do have a cover coming for it to help protect it better. We got some grill pellets right here but I've already got some in there so we won't be pulling this out but we bought a 20 pound bag from where was it Ace Hardware Ace Hardware and we filled this thing up with it this is pecan we got hickory in there right now so I can't wait to get to the pecan now the, whoa, this thing is a little heavy and one problem we have been having is the little rubber feet coming off. Let me go grab them out of the toolbox and I'll show you. So we got these little, little rubber feet that go on the bottom. They keep coming off, so I'm going to need to figure out a way to get them to stay on there. But it just helps for it not to slide around. Got our power cord. Now I'm going to show you the inside of this thing real quick. And then we'll get it plugged up. Comes with two latches that keeps it closed. This is a little grease trap that goes on the back side that catches the grease as it flows down this. But I want to show you the inside first. Because I do need to clean out the ash from our last grill. And you can see we got some still got some pellets in there got some ash a little bit of ash around i'm going to take our blower and i'm going to blow this out real good nice we got all all of it cleaned out a few pellets came came flying but throw those back in there it's all blown out we're going to stick it back together did you say what kind of grill this is oh yeah i should say that huh <laughs> So this is called the Traeger Ranger. It's by Traeger, the model is a Ranger. They do have a smaller size, but from what we read on, it only go, you can only adjust the temperature in increments of 25 degrees, whereas this one allows you to do five degrees. So uh, you can dial in the temperature a lot closer to what you want when you're cooking your meats and stuff, so. I just figured having that extra added adjustability would be great for it. I'm no expert at barbecue, believe me. But this thing turns your average Joe into a grill master almost. But this is uh, catches your grease runoff. It also protects because the flame will be inside here. So it protects uh, the meat from getting a direct flame. It goes in just like that. And then it also, when it sticks through that hole, it has these two little hooks. That's what your grease bucket uh, hangs on. Just like, just like that, but on the back side. So we're gonna stick this in there. Make sure it's nice and level. And then stick our little grease catch right there. Then we'll put our grate back on. And then this is where your pellets go. Right inside there. You see, I, I pretty much topped it off with the first batch we bought. And basically what it does is it feeds down in the middle and it pushes out into this, that center thing. So I'm gonna get it plugged up and we'll get it fired up. I downloaded the instructions on this because I still haven't fully learned how to use it yet um it is pretty basic but 
if you end up getting one of these, definitely follow your instructions. Um, you can download them if you do a Google search for Traeger Ranger Grill. And sorry about the noise right now. We do have the generator running so we can run this. One of the first things you have to do when you first initially fire this up is you have to prime it. And what priming it does is uh, basically pushes pellets into that that center thing. And I'll open that up and we'll, I'll show you how that, what that looks like while it's doing it. But first thing you're gonna do, you wanna flip this switch on back here. This is your power button. And then, this is your standby mode. This is what's called standby mode. To get it priming, you hold the up and the ignite at the same time. And then PRI is priming. So let's take this. And if you look down inside there, you'll start to see those little pellets being pushed into the ignite chamber. We're gonna let that run for about two minutes until we get a nice little pile in this hole and then we're gonna ignite it. And now we're gonna put this back together and I'm gonna go ahead and get the grill started. What I'm gonna do is turn it to the temperature I want and we are gonna do 210 and then hit ignite. It is currently 60 degrees inside there right now and this temperature will show 210 once it reaches it. So we're gonna let it come to temperature and what we're cooking today is a tri-tip. We've already had it sitting out at room temperature in the sleeper for about two hours now. It, it's nice and perfect so we're gonna go grab that meat, bring it out here, season it up real quick. Once this comes to the temperature of 210, we're gonna throw it on there and let it smoke. You can use this as a grill, but what I really like about it was the ability to do smoking on it too. It goes all the way up to 450 degrees, and we have cooked bratwurst on it and filet mignons already and got really nice grill marks and really good cook on those steaks. But we'll show you guys that in another video. Today we're gonna to do the tri-tip. All right, so it's up to about 225 right now, even though I set it at 210. Um, it's slowly climbing up, which is good because when I open it up, that's gonna release a lot of heat. Um, one thing I forgot to mention it does come with is this meat probe. Uh, this thing plugs right into this little jack right there. And then you're able to put this inside in your meat and let it cook and it will display the temperature of your meat on the display. So I'm gonna season up our meats real quick, get this poked into it and get it on the grill and we're gonna let it cook about an hour. Now I'm gonna stick the probe into the fattest part of the meat, probably right around there. One thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grill this until it comes to about 125 130 degree internal temperature. Then I'm gonna pull it out, put it on a plate, pull the meat probe out, and I'm gonna crank the heat all the way up to 450 degrees. Once I reach that 450 degrees, I'm gonna cook it again, two minutes on each side to get a reverse sear on both sides and it should be done. Now we'll show you guys that once we get to that, if it's still light out. If it's still light out, we'll keep filming. but. It's gonna take about an hour probably. So to check the internal temperature a reading on this, all you have to do is push this center button, probe, 64 degrees. So our meat is 64 degrees right now. We're at 216, so we're gonna let it go about an hour. All right, so we are at 128 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> we're having to use a little bit of lighting out here. Uh, I am gonna pull it off. I'm gonna pull the temp 
probe out and I'm going to stick the meat off to the side and I'm going to bump this all the way up to 450 degrees and give it a good sear on each side of the meat. So. Take. Smells delicious. Look at that. Alright. Ignite. Pull this off real quick. Oh my gosh, that looks so amazing. Close that up. We're gonna bring that to the 450 degrees, then sear it on both sides. So, give it about 10 minutes probably. We have reached 450 degrees on this thing. It took about six minutes. I'm gonna throw, the, look at that flaming underneath there. Throw this thing back on there. You hear that, that sear? Probably not with the generator. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably not, right. I know. Uh, we are going to let that go for two minutes. It is exactly 9.04 right now. So we'll let that go for two minutes. We'll flip it, let it go another two minutes. Then we're going to wrap it in foil. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of you out there that are going to probably cringe at watching me barbecue. I probably did something wrong, but we'll see how it tastes. That's, that's all that matters right there. But we really just wanted to show this grill. It's, it's amazing. You can use it for just grilling hot dogs and hamburgers, or you can try to get fancy and smoke a tri-tip or a pork, pork. I don't know if you get be able to get a pork butt in there. Maybe a pork shoulder, um, maybe a smaller uh, brisket. You could probably smoke a smaller brisket in this thing. We really wanted to share this with you guys since so many people asked about it. So many people are interested in getting it for their truck. I'm gonna do the searing real quick. Then we'll go inside and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I wanted to show you one more thing. Uh, to shut this thing off, you uh, gotta put it in cool off mode. And what I did was hold, held that center button down until the off started flashing and then I stopped and then it does a countdown. This is the cool off mode right here and you wanna let it cool off before you're finished. All right guys, so we are all finished. Heather made up her fancy cauliflower mac and cheese that we're going to be having with this tri-tip tonight and let's uh let's take a look at it oh my gosh look at all them juices and nice little grill marks from uh the two minutes tyson approves <laughs> he like, he's sniffing it <laughs> they think they're gonna get some put this over here like that we're gonna cut into this bad boy now I'm probably gonna cut into this wrong. It's against the grain, I believe. A little bit more done than Heather likes. Not bad though. Look at the nice smoke ring right there. Little bit on the top part, but mostly on the bottom. This was a really, really small piece of tri-tip, so it cooked a little bit faster. We like we did it at the 200 degrees, but let's give it a little tasty taste. Taste test. Taste test. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Good? That is pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm. What do you think? You guys deserve a piece? Two thumbs up for me. Not bad. Mm. So I really love that little grill super easy to clean up we got ours at camping world and it was 3.99 now we did have a a good sam membership which made it 3.49 but if you don't have a good good sam membership it is three gonna be 3.99 I, I i can't wait to keep grilling on this thing i almost want to grill on it every weekend it's just so easy to 
pack up and put away in the in the truck and over in the toolbox over there the efficiency of the wood pellets it barely uses any of them uh, we're gonna be doing some fillets some burgers all kinds of good stuff on it so i hope you guys like the video uh, if you've ever been wondering if this thing is worth it or not it's super easy setup you know i think it's perfect for us uh expediters how we like to camp out uh, at rv parks on the weekends you guys really hey, that's <laughs> all right we're gonna see if it's dog approved <laughs> they'll pretty much eat anything oh, so oh yeah oh that's, yeah that's the first time him grabbing it and not <laughs> sniffing it because <laughs> he was one of piece. <laughs> he's like i know what that is i know that's daddy's barbecue and i know daddy's barbecue decent not the best but decent <laughs> pretty good it's pretty good so get the grill get it get it if you guys uh, like barbecuing and doing this kind of stuff uh, it's definitely Hashtag not sponsored not sponsored not sponsored <laughs> but traeger hit us up yeah, yeah. <laughs> perfect grill i think and it's easy cleanup it yeah. cools off quick so yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, I, I know he's it. happy with it. I am. I am. Because <laughs> there's been times we just left grills just because we couldn't clean it yeah. up in time or didn't cool off in time. Didn't yeah. cool off or yeah. So. All right, we go. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's all we got. Wrapping you guys got any up. questions about it? I'm no expert on it. There's a ton of videos out there on these things. Well, actually, there isn't. Not on the little ones. Not on the little one. Yeah. There's a bunch of the big ones yeah. out there, that's and they're, why we wanted they're to similar. Share it. They're similar, yeah. but. Hope you guys liked the video. Yeah. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until the next one. Peace, love, and expediting.